Alright guys, I have to make this video, not the video I intended on making today, because I found out recently that my camera was stolen, I'll speak on that, speak on that, you know, after this video, another day, but, you know, if y'all, if y'all know about Keaton Jones, basically Keaton Jones was a kid who was bullied, and if you haven't seen the video, here it is. Just out of curiosity, why do they bully, what, what's the point of it, why do you find joy in taking innocent people and finding a way to be mean to them. It's not okay. What do they say to you? They call me, they make fun of my nose. They call me ugly. They say I have no friends. What'd they do to you at lunch? Put milk on me and put a hand down my clothes. They bread at me. Is it just you? Yep. Or is it other kids too that feel that way? Say it's other kids too. How's that make you feel? I don't like that they do it to me and I for sure don't like that they do it to other people because it's not okay. People that are different don't need to be criticized about it. So as you can see, you know, the kid had tumultuous time going through his school, being bullied. You know, I used to get bullied too and I used to bully other kids too. I ain't gonna sit here and lie. Like, it, it really, like, sometimes if somebody's cracking on you, it takes pressure off of you if you can find someone else and crack on them. Because it's like, you know what, I'm getting cracked on, but at least I ain't like that. At least I ain't like him. So, you know, it's, it's easy, but it's never okay, honestly. Sometimes you gotta learn how to stand up for yourself. Right? And if you're a parent, sometimes you gotta take charge for your kids. I remember my mom, she had went on a bus one time and told the kids, stop messing with me. He started messing with me. And one time, uh, this kid was bullying me in my class. So I just told the teacher, like, yo, can you, can you switch me out this class? Like, I can't do it no more. All right? So sometimes you got to take the proactive steps. Not everybody can do it. But sometimes you just got to, you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to protect yourself, son. You got to protect yourself. But the thing about this story is that, um, this might be a scam because after this whole thing, his mom created a little GoFundMe. All right, and so far it's like 60k, and it got it, it's on hold now, thank God. But um, it was kind of weird to me because it's like you got bullied. What the fuck do you need money for? It, the, like, come on, like come, like come on. All right, and and he was like, oh, college fun, you know. <laughs> fuck out of here. Your kid got bullied. Just because you got bullied don't mean you deserve money from strangers. Fuck out of here, all right? All right? And looking at her past, I'm not I'm not coming to uh, assuming, but sometimes you can incite bullying. And who's to say that this kid didn't say some shit first, and then all of a sudden somebody came after him after saying it, and they got him worse? We don't know that. And he's getting 60k. Uh, Joe Schilling exposed her, exposed his mom. Actually, I'll show y'all the video. Here I go. I feel pretty stupid right now, people. I uh, I was pretty moved by Keaton Jones's video, so I reached out to his mom and was gonna bring him out to uh, LA and uh, for a Bellator event that's coming up, big show, and uh, introduce him to fighters, be his friend, you know. And uh, she just wants money. She just wants me to share her GoFundMe account, and I asked what the GoFundMe account for. What is it for? And she said, oh, well, you know, Christmas is coming and I'm a s single mother and blah, blah, blah. Money's tight, whatever. That's not, I, you make your own judgment on that, but sad. So yeah, as you can see, this thing's looking a little fishy. If you ask me, she's denying the claims. It's, it's, it's just, it's, it's nonsense. And I saw somebody's Facebook post and they really put it into perspective. I, I don't want to make this about race, but like a kid got hung on a noose like not too long ago, like two, like two months ago, a month ago. Nobody, no celebrities, no, not a lot of celebrities are coming to that kid's defense. All right. But this kid. This kid gets bullied, and he's getting invited to movie premieres. I mean, yo, yo, nah, dude, you you got bullied, sucks. But you know what? You gotta learn 
can't let nobody push you around. And you know, it's fucked up. The bullies, I mean, their parents, it starts with the parents, it starts with the teachers. Like, you gotta tell them, like, bullying is not okay. All right? But when you get bullied, life moves on with or without you. All right? A lot of fucked up shit's gonna happen in your life that's out of your control. And that's just, that's just how it is. I mean, I, I got my camera stolen, but I'm not over here trying to, like, make a GoFundMe. Like, shit happens, all right? And some shit make you stronger, all right? But this mom is exploiting this kid for some moolah, and I ain't buying this shit no more. It's, it's, it's crazy. She got all these Confederate flag photos. She's like, oh, I deleted it for a reason. You deleted it for a reason so people would donate money to you. Okay, but we got you. We got you. We Twitter, the Twitter users did they research, and we got your ass. We got your ass. All right, Lavar Ball finessed us in 2017, and we got finessed again by Mrs. Keaton. Damn shame. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. This has been another J. Rob installment. Please remember to like. Comment, subscribe, and peace. When I touch a mill, I'ma be the same dude. Split the money with my gang too. And we be swerving in that Audi coupe.